Greetings to all and sundry Charles and North Wales here. Uh, the January December build was uh, the Aero L39, the Edward kit. Here you can see information about the aircraft, its background and history and development as a uh, Czech project, the second generation uh, trainer to replace the L29 uh, Delphin. You can pause this and read this a bit. One thing I did like about this aircraft was the variety of uh, paint schemes. You can see here, they're quite nice schemes, but I do always like to check Training Air Force organization uh, color schemes with the yellow tips. The kit I bought a while back uh, from Telford. Um, I felt after the TU-22M I felt like something small and slim as uh, a bit of a change. The uh, egg kit quality is excellent, recessed panel lines, crisp mouldings, better to, than, than a lot of the projects I'm used to and a lot of the kits that I uh, tend to build so that was really nice to see. As always uh, work begins at the cockpit, uh, detail was excellent didn't really need to add anything for that. The cockpit was painted mid-grey. Decals provided the instrument detail and I made seat belts from Tamiya tape. This was the basic Edward kit so it didn't have any photo etch or stuff like that in there. I, um, nose weight was made from Milliput uh, in the two halves and I painted the visible intake area by chromate yellow kit went together without any major difficulties the fit was good yes there were visible scenes but, um, no substantial gaps or anything like that to worry about certainly nothing that required shimming glue used to deluxe material um, perfect putty uh, throughout I probably create more filling than is necessary uh, this really wasn't much of a filler queen uh, at all After masking uh, the canopy and undercoating, I reapplied some of the filler. In this case, I thinned down the uh, putty with water and then painted on, then wipe it back, and that deals gets it in a thinner form to deal with any still visible cracks. The scheme I wanted to do was the Czech Air Force Training Organization. Um, I decided to do the ID number 0447. As you will later discover, that would have been easier to produce in stencil form than the visible 0448. So as you can see here, to do the uh, lettering, I printed some numbers on two labels. Then I uh, put that onto the masking tape and uh, cut the, let, the numbers out. I got to be honest with you, it took a few attempts to get a decent uh, set of numbers. I think I needed about five, five goes to get a set that I was happy with. I started with a grey undercoat, then applied uh, white onto the area where the numbers would go. I then oversprayed yellow on the tips, the tanks and the tail. Um, the yellow areas that I wanted to remain visible were, uh, were then masked and then I applied the light blue lower coat. The main upper coat was XF-49 um, khaki, the Tamiya paint, that went on without any difficulty. I then uh, got ready for the darker coat. I masked it with blue tack then applied XF-67 NATO green. I find blue tack masking works quite well and uh, if you're careful with the airbrush you can get quite a sharp, nice decent edge. I didn't want soft feathered edges. The anti-glare panels were added after I removed the masking so I masked them off separately and sprayed that uh, in black. And I didn't remove the uh, main yellow masking until all that side was done. And you can see there with the masking removed. I did also have to add the uh, paint on separately, the uh, tips of the uh, horizontal stabilizers. So uh, um, the decals came from my stash from various sources and the stencils uh, came from the kits uh, decals. 
for the most part it all sat quite well with microset and microsoft there was a little bit of silvering but nothing too significant certainly not on the main markings and there she is done i added the uh just kept a pair of drop tanks on there don't really like to hang have trainers hanging with too much the final details went on without any difficulty uh, i've got to be honest with you i'm quite pleased with this it turned out to be a nice simple clean uh, project of what is quite an elegant aircraft and you can see a few more views there so it now takes its place uh, on the shelf around other aircraft that saw came into service in the 1980s i know i could have done russian markings for this but i do have a particular soft spot for the check schemes i would also admit i did get the orientation of the randalls wrong somebody gave me posted me a message on facebook about that so thank you to that gentleman uh, we all live and learn that's why we do these uh, projects so there you have it really not much to say an enjoyable build without any significant issues this was my first edward kit and i was pleasantly surprised uh, this project color scheme is what drove me and i did enjoy it as a project i think i'd gladly build another one in a, a different color scheme once again thank you for watching happy modeling God bless. This is Chancellor North Wales, signing out.